Good morning again. This is for St. John's Lutheran Church Morning Devotions. This is for Tuesday morning, November 10th. We'll continue today with our look through Matthew chapter 10 as Jesus sends out his 12 disciples. He sends out other disciples other times, but here is a section of him sending out his 12 disciples and the, his instructions for them. We'll follow the meditation on the commandments of God um, from our Christian worship supplement. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Teach me, O Lord, to follow your decrees, that I will keep them to the end. Direct me in the path of your commands, for there I find delight. While I long for your precepts, preserve my life in your righteousness. We pray. Lord God, you are compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in love. Fill us with the peace of your forgiveness, so that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading then from Matthew chapter 10, picking up at verse 11. And whatever town or village you enter, find out who is worthy in it, and stay there until you depart. As you enter the house, greet it, and if the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. And if anyone will not receive you or listen to your words, shake off the dust from your feet when you leave that house or town. Truly I say to you, it will be more bearable on the day of judgment for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah than for that town. The word of our Lord and perhaps that last section is most familiar to people of shaking the dust off your sandals and feet and leaving that town, ultimate judgment proclaimed upon that town that would reject Jesus' disciples in unbelief. And, and then God's judgment would be upon that city. And he says, worse than for Sodom and Gomorrah, a, a truly awful fate for those that reject those that Jesus sends, who has the truth of his word, those who reject Jesus and his word. Uh, perhaps most familiar, um, that's, that's what we by nature like. Uh, we want to, to know law, we want to know, well fine then, you know, you're, you're rejecting the truth and, and, uh, and away we go, um, kind of that harshness of things, that's what we know naturally um, is, is the law and judgment. Yeah, what Jesus says before that, right? He says, go, go to that, those towns and villages and find who's worthy, right? Who hears the message you proclaim, a message of the kingdom of heaven is near, and who believe that message, um, that, that word of peace will come upon that, that home, and you remain there. But if, if it shows that they reject that message and they're not worthy, then, then it says, take that, that peace, that word of peace um, with you to someplace else. I'm trusting Trusting for those disciples to continue to trust that there will be those who will, who will provide for you, who, who will support you. But an interesting thing for them, right? Um, part of their training was, yes, you, you, you will be rejected. Um, you will be rejected and sent to the lost sheep of Israel, um, not looking for any towns to, to reject them. I think of the disciples the one time came, you know, and these, these towns rejected us. Jesus should be called on fire and, and destroy them. They weren't looking to be rejected. They weren't hoping that they could shake the dust off their feet against these people and these ungodliness, ungodliness of these people, so God would judge them. But you want that word of peace to come. You want to come with that word of peace and proclaim a message of, of repent for the kingdom of heaven is near, that people would turn and, and believe in that promised Savior and have eternal life, no matter what you think of that town or not. Um, the, the goal is that eternal life. And that's what you're seeking, that's what you're looking for um, in proclaiming that message. And as Jesus' disciples, um, it's, it's true for us as well. Um, when we go out with that word, uh, we go out with that word and, and, and proclaim the word of peace um, in Jesus Christ and proclaim the truth of Jesus Christ. Uh, many conversations I've had with, with people, um, members who said they've shared the word, but, but were shut down and rejected. God gave you comfort. God gave you peace, 
God, pray the word that you proclaimed, though at the time, um, what looked like it was just rejected, that goes with the people, hopefully, that person, hopefully, and, and they turn and, and, and repent and believe that message you proclaimed. Um, and if not, it's, it, it's not up for, it's, it's not our desire um, to, to have to go and, and shake the dust off our feet um, against that town. You know, that was, you know, that was a story there. You know, I've, I've heard a story from a, a fellow pastor who did that once, who was just knocking on doors and, and, the, and he, he did it one time finally. I don't he, he wasn't so proud of it, but he said, yep, the, the, the person came and, you know, they, they said who I was and I slammed the door on my face and I kind of made the motion of shaking dust off my feet and fine then and away I went in a huff and, and the person stopped and said, you know, what, what were you just doing there? Why did you do that? Ended up... You know, got they had a, had a wonderful conversation with the man. Um, he didn't advise us to do that, uh, but it was one of those things that it's true. It's it's part of it, right? The, the proclamation of those who reject the word, um, but it's not something we look for or want or desire, but rather we want that word of peace to go out. And a reminder for us um, that not all will believe um, this message that that is a gift to us, and perhaps that's the comfort there, right? Um, this message has come to you. And you would reject it. But it's God in his grace. God in his mercy to you. That the word came to you. And you believed. And you trust in that word. You trust in God and his kingdom. He's made you his follower. He's made you his disciple. All by his grace and mercy. What tremendous comfort that is then. To be his followers who recognize will face rejection at times. Um, but to his glory and his praise. Have a blessed day. Continue with our reading from the Catechism. Section on the Third Commandment. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. What does this mean? We should fear and love God that we do not despise preaching in his word, but regard it as holy and gladly hear and learn it. We pray. Lord God Almighty, we stand in violation of your holy will. There is no one who does good, not even one. In mercy you sent your Son, the Passover Lamb, without blemish, to atone for our sins. This is the name by which he, will, he is called, the Lord, our, the Lord our righteousness. Teach our hearts to praise you for your saving love. Lead us to fear, love, and trust in you above all things, as you have taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. Amen.